People's Mic. I am Jimmy Peoples. This is episode 438. Introduce yourself. Christy Vera. Hi. How are you? Thank you for saving this episode. Uh, 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 would you have gone home or? No, I would have just been talking to myself. Really? And, uh, yeah, or whoever showed up to talk shit. Right. Because luckily now, see those green you bars. You just wait for people to, yeah, show to show up. And uh, that's it. How you doing? <laughs> That's how you feel. <laughs> Good. Good. How's your day go? What'd you do today? I just so worked far. out at the gym. You went uh, to the gym? Did some what do you do when you go to the gym? Pull downs. What the I fuck do is everything. That? I do everything. You told me to do those. I did. So oh, I've that's my fault. I said pull down. Did I say pull downs or rows? The rope thing, and you go like this. Pull downs? I don't know if I said do that. You said to do that a lot, and so I've been doing them a lot. Shit. I don't remember that. I remember mm-hmm. saying doing pull, pull rows. Have you been doing those? I do. I do rows, but I always feel like nothing's really happening um, when I do the you put rows. Put more weight on. I guess I can you try heavier weight resistance. The actual rowing machine. No, 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 no. no. The, the, the one you sit. The row, machine, rows. The row. Yeah, yeah. The row. I did them today. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I said this is um. What this is always t- yeah. To what? Shut up. Wow, you guys are hot today. Michael Verdi, Zach Benzing. What's up, Bietches? It's just us. Dang, Zach. That was nice. I don't know if everything else is good. <laughs> That's her fucking style, you know? It, 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 she's, whatever. You want to see my dress? They were told me, they said it looks... <laughs> she's a dress. You look, you look, you're very uh, 70s. I need uh, to freeze my, dre- my dress, though. It was like folded was it up. It was folded up like in a drawer, and I smelled I, it. I, I, it smell I tried the um, fresh. Huh? I don't have time in the morning to iron. It looks better. Yeah, I blow dry sometimes my stuff. I tried the uh, there's a spray iron mm-hmm. iron spray. Do you use that? De wrinkling spray. Yeah, it's like a downy de wrinkling spray, and I tried it, but it feels like it just makes me wet in the morning. It also feels like I'm like succumbing to mass pollution. You know, it feels customs. Dirty. It feels dirty. I, I don't. I don't like it. I just want it to be like a dry. And I want to make it stiff. Like. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, what yeah. else is going on? Uh, do, you, are you, what, what, do you read the news? Do you yeah, you know, news? people were saying I was at a non toxic, aka lesbian, like whatever, mic yesterday, and they were saying, Did you hear about the impeachment? And I was like, you mean every headline for the past three yeah. years? I, I feel and like they're edging on this impeachment. They're, they're for, like, the, oh. for three years. Yeah. And so I pressed it, said there's going to be a formal like impeach- impeachment. Isn't First last sentence, year it says would. Yeah. W-O-U-L-D. Uh-huh. It's not happening, but it says like they would da-da-da. Yeah, if, thinking about it. It's still edging. Still edging. So whatever. Like what the f- – who cares? I don't know. I, don't, it, I, I hate politics. I, yeah. I had a thought about I fucking forgot. I, I, because it's, it's, um, I don't know. It's, you it's, had a thought and you forgot? I did. I had a thought and I forgot it. I was a brilliant thought. Fuck. About what we should do? No, about how, how bullshit they are. They're, they're, um, yeah, like, um, really good people usually get scared away. Yeah. Like I like I went into political science and got scared away, and like good people will go in, and then they're like, "Oh yeah. my god, what terrible!" I said, it's, I said, it's the worst people that that stick with mm-hmm. it. Yeah, because they have an agenda, and well, that's what you yeah. have to do to be in politics. You have to have an agenda, or you have to, you know? or you have to like not yeah. care. So you're like, what? You're dark anyway. They're all they're all okay, monsters. Sure. Yeah, like nothing really bothers you. You know. Yeah. Because if it it's all bothering you, then you then you might drop out, and they'll break you because because uh, yeah, I don't know. dude, you don't even want to talk. <laughs> I don't have anything to. Do. I was like, who is gonna save this fucking podcast? Because <laughs> all right, I'll talk. I have because I don't want to talk about what's, what's going on in uh in uh <clears throat> not on this not live. Um, on politics, you mean? No, just life shit, work shit. Oh, you have like problems happening? Uh, it, minor shit. The same shit I do on my set. Yeah. Oh, what, what my, am got? I not allowed to? No, no, okay. no, no. Go, go. 
Well, um, let's see. Yesterday, two um, Some, two of my colleagues asked me out yesterday, and that's just like another day in the life of like co- uh, being a girl, I guess, in comedy. And you have to like constantly push people down and be like, "No, I I never want to hang out. I never want to hang out." And then they still ask you out on. A but date. isn't that what you wanted? Why? You were talking about that the other day, right? Oh, I said I said that because um, Billy has a bit right now huh? about how um, having a crush is the best thing ever. He was like, Billy, having Billy, a crush is the best thing on earth. Billy, Billy okay. And I said having a crush sucks. Uh-huh. Whenever I have a crush, it's the worst. Billy's bit has been affecting like a, a couple of uh, people, mostly women, have been coming to me about Billy's bit, <laughs> and he's been. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, well, I listened to Billy's bit, and then I went and did this thing. It was like a bunch yeah. of girls. He's <laughs> like, and then I woke up. The she crush was, thing? Yeah. She was, there, she was like, yeah, that I, I just I just approached my crush, and then because of Billy's wow. bit. <laughs> hey, that's good. That's good comedy then. <laughs> I was like, that's what comedy's supposed to do. It's supposed to make you change and get out of your box. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't think he knows how much effect he's having. And Mike, I, I can do what the fuck I want on my podcast. Effect. Like, I, I didn't do any behavior. All I did was come up on stage right afterwards and respond to it. And I said that crushes suck. And that's not what I was talking about. What did you just say? You just No, Mike, out? yeah, Michael already said he's like, I should have an agenda. Uh, I, I should do what the fuck I want because sometimes you don't have an agenda and you just let it unravel. Um, and I'm glad you have nothing better to do than to watch this podcast. So I still love you. And, uh, Insulting the audience. <laughs> That's the way. But you can't help being a troll. And now you're part of it. I wish it was a tag so I can pull you up on the screen. Um, pull your face in. I, eventually I'll figure that out. Uh, usually at the beginning, I think. Mm. It depends on what kind of phone you use. It says, um, I've been like getting Nick, Nick it gym. says. Here, no, go ahead, say it. I've been getting in fights at the gym, too. A lot of fights. What kind of fights? Um, people will tell me that I'm using machines wrong, and I'll say, mind your own business. Um, and I'll say, leave me alone. And they don't like that because they've never heard that in their lives. And mind then, your business? Um, yeah, they'll, they'll be like, hey, <clears throat> excuse me, like you're not using that correctly. Do you mind if I tell you, tell you how to use that machine? And I'm like, holy shit. And I get really mad at them, and I'm rude. And I say, back the fuck off, like, mind your own business. Do they try to show you? That's what their that's whole their, intent yeah, that's is. That's what they're trying that's to do. Um, and I hate it. And I, I can see them, like, looking and looking mm-hmm. and then coming. Like, yeah. And I'm like, I know how to use this machine. I've been using it for 15 mm-hmm. years. Like that? Yeah. Do you yell at them? Do you really yeah, I get that? mad. Because yeah. it's like a, should, it's like a should, constant. Should, New York is like this you constant just growl predatory at just thing. Growl at this girl yeah. pulled me aside. A comedian girl pulled me aside yesterday and told me that I looked like food. What? Like, or that I looked like prey amongst predators. That's what she said at a comedy club yesterday. What? She said, you shouldn't even Who hang out it? here, honestly, it, because you it? honestly look like you're about to be eaten alive. What? That's what she said. Who was she? What was her name? You Dude, I won't say, say it. Say and by the way, I don't even know her name, actually. And now I know it. Yeah. <laughs> you know her day fucking lie. <laughs> she was born and raised here. What? Is she attractive? Some would say. Yeah, would you say? I'm not attractive. <laughs> but, um. <laughs> and then my manager, dude, you should try yeah. working there and see how long it takes Work for where? you to cuss him out. My gym. Zach, what conspiracy? What? what you, you work in a gym? So you're talking to Zach? Both. He's saying stuff. I got. I get. What what gym do you work out at? Equinox. I work out at Ludlow Fitness, and the manager is like half a, half asleep when he uh, talks. Yeah. And so he says this ridiculous stuff. I came in two days after mm-hmm. my membership expired. Yeah. And he goes, "You know that your membership is expired." After I beeped and it beeped regularly mm-hmm. and everything, and I walked, he was like, uh, d- "Didn't you know that your membership is expired?" Yeah. They should shut and that I was place like, down. "What?" Yeah. And he goes, you know, you told me last week. You knew. Yeah. What the fuck, dude? I just woke up. Like, and you're yelling at me? No. I hate, I hate, um, I want, I want to, I want to do, I want to do a boot camp class, not boot camp, uh, hate classes at like a boutique gym. 
but I don't want to uh, have that as my home gym. I want to have a, a big box gym as my home gym so I can go to different gyms when I travel. So I, I wouldn't be just at Ludlow. That would, that would. Yeah, don't go there. I've seen that, but I was like, that looks, it looks dingy. The treadmills are all broken. Yeah. It's, it's the number one gym in New York on some of the lists. What? The treadmills are all broken, and the manager There's only one is gym, though, right? They only, have, they only have one gym, right? Yeah. How many gyms there? One. No, fuck that. How's that number one? I don't know. It just said it. I said, no. what's the number one gym in New York? And it said, Blood Love Fitness. Mm-mm. And um, the night manager yells at me. It's 24 hours? Yeah. Oh, shit. Sure. That's good. The night manager yells at me. He said, if you if I see your stuff again, I throw it in the garbage. What race is he? African. Yeah. That's an African accent. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I hate him. <laughs> I don't even go at night anymore because I'm. I was so gonna say lucky. Asian, but there's, there's... yeah. <laughs> was that a good African accent? Mike said it was really good. Um, no. I see your stuff again. Throw it in the garbage. That's not an African accent at all. <laughs> but it's like t- leaning towards where he, how he's talking. Yeah, this African is so like... much caffeine. It's amazing. Are you feeling it? Because you remember, I was yeah. like. Where do you get caffeine? Like some of these diner coffees don't even have caffeine in them. No. I was drinking six and not feeling anything. This, I took about five, eight sips and I'm like, How much caffeine is in one cup? I don't know. It's instant espresso. Yeah. I saw your energy change as soon as you drank it. You came in and you were like, oh. <laughs> So what are they saying? What are your friends saying? Your real friend. My real friend? What? What? Everybody's laughing. Casper said, ha ha. It was really good. Uh, Mike said, how do you have a rapport with the night and daytime manager? Who? Who said that? Mike, Mike Verdi. Dude, I have an angry look on my face all the time because I'm trying to be <laughs> alone, you know? Uh-huh. And they're I, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I, come just... in, I come in, dude, uh. and I go to beep my tag under the fucking thing. Here's the way it is. They look up from their phone, uh-huh. say hello, try to look in my eyes, and they even hold the machine and try to help me yeah. with guiding my card to mm-hmm. on the scanner every single time, and that killed me. Dude, I will beep the card. Uh-huh. You reaching out and helping me beep the card doesn't do help. They, do they, what are you doing? Do they grab your hand or do they... They do, grab the machine and they're yeah. like, here, let me help. I don't know why Bitch, management... Don't... Help me beep my card. I don't know why management teaches them to do. They do it at, at my gym too. But I was like, it's why like do a, you... it's like a service. I yeah, guess it's a service. I finally, dude. Yeah. The one lady. They do it at my gym too. I was like, that, that's dumb. Don't bother me. Like yeah. coming in and out of the gym, I, it's already hard enough to go to the gym. Yeah. You need as least amount of uh, obstacles. Mm-hmm. I don't want someone saying hello and expecting me. Saying how are you? Expecting that me to you? say something. That's an obstacle. Really? Yeah. I used what would you to. Wanna, ra- what would you rather? Just to go. I to used gym, to want to make my own uh, clothing, like, mm-hmm. and it would say, "I'm mentally ill." <laughs> on my jacket. Because I speak to everybody. I don't let anybody pass me yeah. without speaking. So I say, "Good morning. Enjoy your workout. That's called an obstacle. Glad you make it." That's called huh. an obstacle. People, you don't like that. And my That's- shirt would say, "Do not approach." Like, like, do not talk to me and mm-hmm. like different things, all like a whole line of clothing that just says, I'm not out of my house yeah. to socialize. Mm-hmm. That's not why I came outside. Wow. That's what it would all say. Huh. When people are like, what should I go to the gym or not? They think about changing their clothes. They yeah. think about the locker room. They think about the guy who's going to say, how are you? Huh. That's they me. think I'm about the they think about all of the humans that are going to look at them and be like, "Oh, are you looking? Do you look okay?" Like they're going to think about all of that, and they're like, "No, too many obstacles today." Yeah, wow. And then not go. Yeah, so I go, and it's like all this yelling, telling me that I that I should have known my membership was expired for two days. Like, um, so I finally told the lady. She grabbed the machine, and I go, "I got it." Huh? I yeah. said that to her. Yeah. So that's how I have, a, ra- that's how I have a rapport know. with all of them is because oh. I tell them what's what. That's so weird. I see all the things that I do, but it, it, it's, it goes on the other side of that. You're taught 
in order to make yourself valuable, you're supposed to talk to people. You're supposed to make yourself valuable. And you're a trainer. Dude, we have a trainer yeah. woman in there that always tries to say, like, that I look cute and yeah, all this stuff. She wants that. me to hire her, I think. Yeah. She's always like, you, hey, girl, you look so cute today. Oh, and I'm always like, yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't do that. No. <laughs> I, I, I try to not bother. I see yeah. them at the door. If I'm at the front, I'll say hello, goodbye, enjoy your workout. If you need anything, you know me. Whatever. And I, But... When people are on their shit or on their machines or on their phone, I don't talk to people. Yeah. You know, the people don't want to be bothered because, and they teach them. They was like, hey, if you see somebody doing an exercise, it's the wrong approach to them. And then and I was like, don't do that because you don't know what people are working on. You know? Yeah. So, I, so the, you know the machine where you have a bench here for your arms? You put your arms like that and you press down like this. Yeah. That, okay. So I do, I do like 10 I hate of those that. I hate and then that. I lift my arms and I do like this. And then I do like this with you push it. Push it. <laughs> I just do just, multiple things because it's not the end of the world. It's a fucking simple yeah, machine. Yeah. It's a fulcrum if, or whatever if, the if, fuck it's called. It's a fulcrum. A fulcrum, like it's like this. You know, a fulcrum with the elbow with the ninety degree angle uh, and you do this. Uh, fulcrum, fulcrum. The machine the fulcrum the name of the machine. Fulcrum. That's so, like what a machine that does this is called. <laughs> in all in all ways of the world. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I know the tricep, okay. the, the the seated tricep extension, is the one that goes down. But uh, what is a fulcrum? <laughs> Here's some information. Look, look. A simple machine consisting of a beam or a rigid rod pivoting at a fixed range. Right. Fulcrum. <laughs> wow, that was perfect. A lever. <laughs> a lever. Yeah. Okay. It's a lever, and so I can do it. However, I it's a lever. Yeah. And people come up to me like, oh, yeah. oh my yeah, God, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's not how you do it. And I'm like, are you getting something out of it when you do it? I don't, if, dude, somebody could be literally dead next uh-huh. to me and I wouldn't know. Yeah. Because I'm not looking at other people. You're just doing your thing. People could be ki- eating other people. They could be taking bites out of each other and I wouldn't know. Get like me. <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 I and I won't. I would. I only approach people when they when they ask for help. You know. I mean, not approach them, but I only help people when they ask for help in the gym. You know. Even even and and if somebody's doing something crazy, like they're gonna about to hurt themselves, yeah. Then I'll send one of the younger trainers and be like, "Hey, introduce yourself and try to fix that guy's form." But if if they're just doing their thing, I'm like, you know what? They didn't ask. You know. Yeah. I, I, I Look, if, the, if you're failing. Yeah. Then you're gonna ask at some point. Mm-hmm. If you're like, oh, I, it just it doesn't make any sense, then at some point you're gonna ask or yeah. wave, help! Like at some point, you, you know what? Ah! Somebody did. Somebody somebody did uh, give my client, like another trainer gave my client advice. I don't think he knew it was my client, and it was like there's certain things I practice safety in the gym. I'm an old trainer, and I was like, and he told her the, op- the opposite, and he was like. Uh, don't, she was she was working out and she had clips on her bar. And he was like, don't use clips on the bar because if the wow. machine, if it goes sideways, then the things can just, the weights can just fall off. And uh, that's why you shouldn't use clips at all. And I was like, yeah, no. So no. the clips don't even work? No, the clips work. He was just like, don't use clips at all. Mm. And I was like, nah, we practice safety here. You always use clips because if they slide, then that's when it goes unstable. That's why you put the clips on. All right, and if you're doing something where you're not sure, and you just wanted to slide, then ask for help. That's when you get spotted. But uh, and I, but I didn't I didn't say anything to the trainer. I was just like, no, you know we. Ooh, you didn't say anything. I didn't, no, you were like, if, if yeah, if if it was a, if it was a trainer, I didn't strike like. Strike one. Yeah, no, it, it's uh, it was, it, no, uh, no. I used to be like that. Mike, when's your show? Naruda, what's up? Oh man, you guys ain't got nothing to do. I'll check this out. Um, yeah, good. Finish your set. Okay, what would you want to say? Nothing. You just a what? <laughs> I wasn't gonna say anything. <laughs> yeah, I, no, I didn't say anything to Dude, him. Dude, you must be going through something dramatic at the Dunkin' Donuts. Who? Why? You. You were just there for what an hour talking to people. That you know, I don't talk to anybody. You don't like, like Facetime your friends and stuff. And no, I, no, I, I, I Facetime one person once a day. 
Um, Did it go well this time? I didn't talk to her today. Oh. I, I don't know enough time. Because uh, I have Sprint, and Sprint, it doesn't connect far from uh, different countries for some reason. It, it doesn't connect anywhere. I, I Like, if my life depended on it, I couldn't depend on this phone to work. And I don't know how to fix it. Uh, switch to Verizon. That's, yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Verizon is a life depending on it signal. Really? Yeah, I used Believe to have I used to have Verizon for like ten years, and I what used to I used to be in the middle of like the Appalachian oh. fucking mountains, you went to the Appalachian and I would think I about that. I tried to hike the whole trail, <laughs> and I would think about like commercials for Verizon. I'd be like, dude, they could do so many amazing commercials for Verizon of like people needing help in the desert and stuff. And the, uh-huh. I have a signal, like, mm-hmm. and everyone's like, but we're in the desert. Oh, oh, I have Verizon. Like, dude, so many good commercials. Uh, 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 Naruto said he's watching this just to see what they're like in NASA and in, 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 in a spaceship, like literally going towards the moon, and things go wrong. The radio shuts off, and everyone's like, whoa, whoa, "Oh shit! I have Verizon. I have a signal." So I wish you could like, test test run test test try. Like it's a, a, like it's a, a little bit more expensive apparently because my parents yeah, just they're all expensive. To Sprint. I feel like your yeah. economic class is is a. Uh, is determined by what phone service you have. Is also, if your socks are matching. What? Yeah, that's how you, your sock game is equal to your credit score. I, I just wear black socks. What does that say about me? That you just keep it safe. <laughs> <laughs> I just wear black. I, I wear black. You, know, you just buy summer. 90 black socks. I just buy a shit ton of black socks. Yeah. I, I just bought, like, a, I went to the sock store. And bought some shark socks that I was gonna wear at the gym. Um, what but, uh, what is it? What is it like? Organization that provides black socks? Maybe bowling. Black, I don't know. I, I bet you could buy them in mass. Catering, maybe. Like a uniform. Okay, yeah, uniform yeah, yeah, yeah. store, maybe. So you could buy like thirty thousand. I, I go to black uh, socks I go to famous thirty thousand. Famous Footwear has the buy one get one off free size. Buy one off, buy one get one free sale sometimes, and then I, that's where I get my black socks. Once I bought um, three pairs of black socks. I mean, uh, not black socks, but like of the best socks because uh, I was going on the Appalachian Trail. I needed uh, all the best of everything. Guess how much each pair costed? How many? How much? Twenty eight dollars a pair. For, but why? Because it was the best socks, wool, perfect. Like, do you try to buy like the best of everything? No, blis- that no blisters, like you yeah. know, like so you could walk twelve miles a day every single day for six months uh-huh. and like be warm in the freezing temperatures and everything. What were they even called? I don't know. Yeah, I, f- I feel like you. Tried and my it. hiking shoes that I bought three hundred dollars, uh-huh. which is I guess fi- fine for shoes. I won't, I won't pay over hundred dollars for shoes. Yeah, like, I hate I hate spending money. But on I was afraid things. of getting injured and stuff on the trail. Yeah, I spend money on food. I, mean, I don't like spending money on things that don't. You know, have have a return. Is so, that fair? so you go to nice restaurants at least. I don't go to a nice restaurants. I hate eating out. I hate it. I used to work in restaurants, so I was like, I, I won't eat out. <laughs> what is that face? Yeah. Well, that's fine. <laughs> I, I, hate, I, I get to go to nice restaurants because yeah. occasionally my I restaurants go on is a, movies. A date yeah. And I'll be like, "What about Italy?" And they'll be like, "Sure." Because you date guys that do shit like that. They, they, yeah. I feel like in at Tinder you can do that. Like if you go on Tinder, yeah. but as a girl, you can be like, would you take me to Mer- Mercari? All of them. Like Maybe a, all the girls and girls can get away with all that shit. Like guys yeah. can get away with that shit. I well, there's that. a thing called uh, cougars.com. Sugar Mama. Yeah. It's a sh- yeah. I, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do it. You know, I don't want anything from anybody. I just, if, Dude, if I you take know what? Out, you might do pretty well on Cougars.com because, like, what you have to think about is, like, there's some ladies mm-hmm. who are made, who look pretty good, who are healthy in yeah. the Upper East and Upper West, mm-hmm. look pretty healthy, you just all this stuff. call me an old stuff. bitch? Old bastard? No. You just call me old? I feel like you just called me. No, I didn't. <laughs> you, might, you might do good, no, you, you old bastard. No, no, because um, Yo. what they need is, so what some of them, because, like, a lot of them, they never... They never really diversify. Mm-hmm. Diversify, what do you mean? They never diversify. They never had the chance to diversify. If you if you say the word over <laughs> and over again, it's not a definition. Oh. <laughs> um, the, like some of these women, like they've been, 
you know, they grew up through some serious racism and all oh, this stuff. I thought you were talking about like investing. And now what they're thinking is like, especially different. if they're on cougar.com, yeah. uh-huh. like what they're thinking is, oh, wow, like a muscular, like, um, you know, straight buttons up black man, you know, who's nice, poor. Nice and poor. <laughs> he's well, he's well, he's put, well put together, but poor as fuck. <laughs> you know, like you're really guy. safe. Yeah. For these, Am I women, safe like women, that? for these safe? ladies. Wow, I've been trying to be yeah. safe for years. I think you could do really well there. Hey, Mike, none of your, none of your, uh, your links are, uh, I can't tap on them, so I can't announce. Just write what you want me to say. When these women want to diversify and get this, some younger black man for the first time mm-hmm. ever and stuff like that, huh. another thing is that, huh. another thing is that even though they want younger for that help, yeah. They also, we are also don't really want younger men because there's like such gummy inexperiencedness, you know, there's just yeah. such, it's kind of like gross. And so you provide like a hard exterior still. Yeah. And so they're like, wow, it's the best of both worlds. Oh, huh. keep talking. I'm going to see if I can pull it up. We're going to do it right now. Sign up. <laughs> and be like, I'm, just it- be like, I'm safe. I'm a perfect I'm a perfect date, and I'm a I'm a perfect experience. If you want to diversify for the first time in your life, cougar dating is that it? It's a bunch of them. Whip, one night hookup. Yeah, finding a young man as an older woman is hard because you need what? still the you still need a hard muscular body. You're not wanting like some type of scrawny like know. young man. So it's really a narrow. <clears throat> options and you're in those options and a lot of these women are tired of frat boys that's what they were always around so you're a black man I don't think I want a white woman I want want to she has to be uh, what you want is good food that's what we're talking about well definitely not an older white woman is there an older white woman that can cook you think no 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 she's going to take you to a nice restaurant restaurant. oh uh oh Whip. Has anybody been on Whip Cougar dating? Hold on. I can't. I can't respond because they're. Oh shit! There's too much going on here. Have you Have you ever dated a sugar daddy? No. No. Would you? I mean, technically, that's what every dating is. Is it? Yeah. Technically, that's what every dating is. So. Uh. The difference with the sugar daddy is that you actually like define it as such. I guess. What? You, you're showing you do that motion. Oh. <laughs> the fucking lap pull down. Hi, come on in. Is that Lee? Yes. Hi, Lee. You want to close out this podcast with us? There's only ten minutes. Have I'm a sorry. seat. There. Just have a seat. Hang out, and um, we're gonna try to finish strong for you. Got your hair done? Mm-hmm. Oh, I feel like you had it wrapped up the other day. Oh, the other day I was not. What is that face? (laughs) Nothing, I'm just. I'm here for it. (laughs) You are on the hook. Um, um, Lee, is that a paper or plastic straw? Fucking paper straw. Woo! They don't work. That's, that's the goofiest shit in the world. Stick to You know what also doesn't work? Climate change. Yeah, fuck that. I don't think they should have better technology than paper straw and plastic straw. Yeah, they definitely should. What else would you use besides paper or plastic? Paper, plastic, um, metal? Bear Burger actually has, has plastic like straws that are also biodegradable. Yeah. So it's just cheap plastic. Biodegradable straws. Okay. No, it's not cheap. It, there's You can make plastic out of corn, and it's biodegradable, like a plastic-like material, um, biodegradable, huh. and other things, yeah. So, they, so they have at Bear Burger, I know. Fiber? What about can, uh, hemp? I invested in... Can they make a hemp straws? I invested in Plant lolly straws, straws, basically a lollipop type of material. Huh. into a, It's a straw, yeah. and so you also get a piece of candy. Huh. A lolly I invested straw. 60 bucks in that. Why? What happened? I didn't get anything out of it. On Kickstarter. A lolly straw. Plant-based straws. Is that? The, the, that's the corn one, right? Yeah. Do you go to oh. Bear Burger? There's none here. There's oh, Bear Burger. Here. No, no, no. Bear Burger? Yeah. No. It's, 
it's expensive, right? And it's a restaurant. No. Is it a takeout restaurant? No. They have pretty cheap, like, they have pretty affordable, like, stuff. Really? Somebody went there and got, like, a $16 $10 for and a burger. Like, yeah. $6 for a burger. I don't eat a lot of burgers. No. $12 for a giant, like, crazy beer with, like, a big Yeah, burger. I don't drink beer. Liz! Hi, Liz! What's up? You're the shit. No, it's the podcast. I do what I want. Yeah, do what I want, know. Liz. So you don't drink beer? No, I don't drink beer. I never had a taste for it. See, that's a very like um, sugar baby thing to say. <laughs> sugar baby. Never had a that's the name of this episode. It. Sugar babies. <laughs> yeah. Sugar if I was a cougar, I would be like, ah. Hey, sugar baby. <laughs> I get a t-shirt, sugar baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And, and I'd be like, have you ever been to Mercari? And you'd be like, oh, I don't, I don't, can't afford to go out to restaurants. <laughs> yeah, just, just always play dumb. Like, I, I yeah, don't yeah. do restaurants because I can't But I would love them. to go. I would love to see it inside of a restaurant one day. Yeah, um, exactly. New York Comedy Club, Gramercy, is that what they're calling it now? The Is that on 4th Street? On the 20th. Mike Birdie has a show on the 20th. He wants me to shout out. October 20th. Who's, on the, who's on the show? In a month, Mike? Come on, and, and uh, you know, I try to do this once, like on Mondays, to to do the podcast where we shouted out everything going on for the week, and uh, it was cool for a minute, and then it flickered out. But uh, yeah, I shout you out, Mike. What's the name of the show? Um, what else? Uh, is that your favorite? What's your favorite restaurant? Oh my god! Do you have one? I haven't even thought about that for a while. What about you? McDonald's? Um, Chick-fil-A. Is there even a Chick-fil-A here? Yeah, it's one of 23rd Street, which they fucking, yeah. for, for the, which they just, they, they used to have like a $10 minimum, but they put the $10, now it's $20 minimum, and I was like, I don't want to put Yo, $20. for a credit card, you mean? Yeah. I was like, wow. I don't want to put a $20 minimum. The $10 minimum was fine, because I paid like 11 bucks for a salad and some fries and called it a day. And it's you like, go to Chick Fil A and just get a salad and fries. Yeah. Why did you go there? I, for grilled, they have the best salad, grilled chicken salad, really? and, oh, and I love chicken. their French fries. French, French fries are not too salty. Their French fries are okay. They're, I think they're, uh, they're they're not super fried. I think they're air fried. I'm pretty. Sure, I'm, I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure I'm wrong. Where would I choose to eat? Yo, I don't know. There's no, I've never been to a restaurant. I'd be like, this is the greatest restaurant I've ever been to in the circuit. Nope. When I here's, here's, here's a funny story. When I first actually started making money in radio, um, actually one of my frat brothers took me to a Mediterranean restaurant, and um, and I was this is my first time. It's like at a at a at a at, at a it was a high end not a high end restaurant. It was it was just something you, it cost money, right? Yeah. But the, it were like the area lawyers and doctors. It was like well to do people, right? And I was like. I would bring a girl here, and I had like a Mediterranean pasta, and had like it was seafood, and I was Pesto. like, "This is it's fucking packed." It was a yeah. huge plate, and I was like, "This is great." And one day, when I started making money, uh, I was dating this girl, and I was like, I took her shopping, and I, 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 it was the first time I could do that. Like I was in college, we, she was like, "Hey, you do dress up or whatever." I was like, "No, we just go in there with wife beaters and sweatpants. We just got out of the gym, went shopping like a G, and we." Had a pasta, and she was like, "This is so good." And that but was dude, that was every other day. She wanted the same. Treatment. No, no, really? no, no. She, she was like, "Come on in, Kai." Weirdos. Um, no, she was cool as shit. She was just like, "Yo, this is a good day. This is cool oh. that you did that." She was, she was, she had her own shit. So it's a happy on. story. Yeah, it's a happy story. She's oh, a, wow. she's like a ballerina or some shit for uh, in Philly, and um, it was a cool day. It was a, it was it was a, it was the first moment where I was like, yeah. This is the kind of guy I want to be, you know? And, and that's it. It was just a good plate of food with a cool-ass chick. Yeah. Hi, I think, Orlando. Um, I think we we'll wrap this up soon. Good. My favorite right now is La Dure. Who? La Dure. Yeah, I won't, I won't go to any place that uh, I can't pronounce. That you don't, Nope. Nope, won't do it. Won't do it. Yeah. You should. <laughs> oh, I it's want It's got to be in English. <laughs> L A D U R E. What language is that? Is that French? Yes. Nah, fuck that. Uh, not for you. Uh, no. 
one second. Yeah. Um, no, no, that's it. I won't. I won't. Because he paid. Did he pay when you went? They always pay. Yeah. They always pay. We're, have you ever paid for a date? What? Yeah, that's the fuck I'm talking about. See that? <laughs> See that? <laughs> she looked at you. She's like, she's like, you not better not have. Sometimes I can't figure out how to pay at places. What? And, and, and the waiter's like, and I'm like, sorry, I never pay for anything. Excuse me. Like, mother. <laughs> like, mother. Yeah. Fucker. Liz, you ever pay for a date? Uh, I've gone Dutch on me. Okay, you've you've yeah. gone Dutch. Yeah. I, feel, I feel like you offered, <laughs> and then he'd be like, "No, I'll do it." Like you offered for the fuck of it. Yeah. yeah. Shh. When they offer, I let them pay. I was like, "No, you can take that." Can I tell battle. you what I do? Let me just give you exactly what I do. It's really fast. It's perfect. So okay. while oh, you ruined it. That's, that's not fair. That's not the good mic. No, this, this is the good mic. Don't worry about it. That mic is good. That's why I bought it. Good this job. is still important. Guys, so good. Go. <laughs> while looking good. at the menu, okay, oh. this is fucking key. Is everybody listening? Who's a girl? While looking at the menu, I go, hmm, like, he'll, he'll be like, what do you think? Like, and I'll be like, hmm, I don't know. I mean, I, I think I want to go for this one, but, oh, it's sixteen ninety five or whatever. Like, so I'll, I'll say that I'm worried about the price being too high. Oh, so, adorable. And, and what does he <laughs> yeah, say? What does he that's say? Good. Don't worry about the price. Yeah. I got it. it. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, but are you sure and that, that's you've never got $16.95. Oh, let's get out of here. No, no. Well, he'll. I don't know. Yeah, I don't even know what happens when he doesn't need to pay for it. Woo! You never got that far. <laughs> so, 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 if like, he probably doesn't need to pay for it, he'll be like, well, down here is a little bit cheaper. Like, oh, So, he'll like try to help you out with choosing your meal instead. With, with, if, if, he'll be like, well, there's $8.95 options on the other side, you know? <laughs> But if he's like, don't worry about it, man. Go all out. That's when you know. It's like, well, you're going to have to pay them. Like, That's going to take too long. Um, uh, we're going to do cougar dating next time. All right? You got to come back. Yeah, uh, let us know how it works out. Is that her? Is that a cougar? No, that's no, that's the uh, profile picture. Uh, Chris, uh, uh, Lindsay, come to the mic. Um, uh, let's tell them where they can find you. Let's close this out. Good Christy job. Vera, Instagram, podcast. Christy Vera. Dot com website. Yeah. Uh, give it up for her real quick. Uh, thank, thank you guys for coming at the end of the podcast and, 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 and saving this, uh, saving this mic. This, um, this one, this one works. This is uh, the Bluetooth that goes to the audio to the to the Facebook. So it's not that serious. I always get annoyed. See it? Like so. Yeah. Um, yeah. Next time we come back, we'll be on Cougar Dating dating app so we're going to see how that goes uh, another episode of the People's Mic you can find on iHeartRadio, Spotify, JimPeoples.com subscribe to the YouTube channel J People's TV. we're everyday out of shrunken and head so thank you for them for letting us do this every day uh, we're at 2.15 for the podcast 3 o'clock for the open mic if you're out of town comic uh, this is an open seat so you, you know you were out of town you could have got a free mic in an extra minute and uh, and to, to promote yourself to a city that doesn't know you and um at the hottest podcast in the city. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. But Most you didn't. You, you dropped the ball. You're, you're walking around the city, probably lost. No, 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 no. Go, Liz. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Um, uh, we're, we're back uh, tomorrow's Friday. We'll be back tomorrow. New uh, Other mic at Niagara is on Saturday at 4.30 for the podcast, 5.30 for the open mic. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Thank you, guys. Bye.